Water and the ice together. Okay, but that's two things. Kurapika is a master of what is it, seven? Six. Wait, Six. But where, okay, that's okay, only when his red eyes are. When's the last time we saw this nigga Shoto even be water? Like the last time was. Sorry, bro. Yeah, All right, we're starting. Yeah. We're starting. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, Cheers. Here we go. Anime Sunday. Quiet on the set back there, Justin. Okay. You're watching Anime Sunday. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Anime Sundays, a show where we talk about anime on Sundays. And we are back for another Anime Sundays on the lake, courtesy, of course, good friend Ray Hamlin here. We have an interesting debate today for y'all. We are going to be or deciding what we believe to be the greatest power system in all of anime. As you all know, there's many power systems in anime. We got a plethora. Oh, can you stop laughing? You're giggling. <laughs> Justin Noel here being a fucking dickhead. Please <laughs> don't take the camera too much, Justin. As you all know, there's a plethora of different power systems, chakra, and magic. The list goes on. We're just going to go down the line. Uh, also, we have a first time appearance. So, Evan here, we're welcoming him. It's the first time on the show. Uh, Tell me. <laughs> great, great uh, One Piece advocate. All uh, One Piece advocates are welcome. And yeah, we're gonna go down the line and decide what may be our favorite power system, or what we might think is the most unique or powerful, or what have you, and uh, talk about why or why not. So I guess we'll start with our new guest, Evan Dean here. Oh, you know I ride for One Piece. Right. I ride okay. for One Piece, but I'm gonna be honest. Uh huh. I think Naruto takes it. Chakra. Yeah, I think, uh -huh. I think Chakra takes it because if you think about it throughout the show and the manga, it's yeah. clear cut levels of ninjutsu and taijutsu, and you can build your chakra and you can have specifications based mm -hmm. on your family tree and the different aspects that you train. No, I agree. I mean, Chakra definitely a very serious power system. You see the the vast boundaries of it from, you know, Kaguya being the founder of Chakra, her being. OP enough to handle Naruto and Sasuke. Madara being able to just surpass death. Even Lee not being able to use Chakra, but to be able to use Taijutsu, right? Yeah. Chakra is definitely one of the top ones up there. I'm gonna move on to some more here. I'm gonna go ahead and rock with Nen. One Nen, most of it is pretty like, uh, Ass? based, yeah, sorry. My bad, my bad. <laughs> based <laughs> off of like, uh, like real life, like, you know, energy and, and whatnot, you know, like real theories and shit. I also think it was one of the most creative. Everyone's ability was so interesting, like so crazy. Like you have Kite's ability, which was just a, a gambling slot. It would be a random, a random weapon, like every time. And then you had other yeah. people who can heal themselves. It's like random stuff, like it's a game, you know, like they're playing yeah. darts on, on Killua's body as their Nen power. It was also crazy, but it was it was also like pretty cool at the same time. And then I would say it's definitely the most complicated power system from its, all six of its categories. You see the battles of Hunter. There's a lot you gotta pay attention to just to even know who's really ahead, who really right. has the advantage. Right. Because of that, I feel like it is definitely the most creative. You really have to be smart, I feel like. Yeah. You really gotta be yeah. intelligent yeah, to kind of there's know. Like, there's intellect behind like the yeah. people's powers, you know? Like the, most of the people thought about something they like could naturally do. That's why like Killer was, was lightning. You know, he had always been like, you know, uh, around lightning, you know, being yeah, tortured or not as a family member. Gone, like he's a very simple minded guy. So what is his rock, paper, scissors, you know, very simple. Everyone's was like very unique to their own way of thinking. And that showed, you know, the stronger the thought process, you know, the more uh, intellectual, you know, the, sh the stronger the power, you know, the more natural to themselves, like the stronger the power. It's, it's the commitment also, you know, the conviction, because Kurapika with his chains, mm -hmm. he's so strong to defeat the spiders, right, right just because right. he like forced his Exactly, and then, you, and then you throw in the vows, like, that right, they could yeah, put, yeah, exactly. like, the restraints that they could put on their yeah. own powers to, to make them even the stronger. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got Master Hamlin here. He's gonna go ahead and uh, bring forth his favorite power system. I, I do agree with Mr. Evan. Uh, chakra is amazing. I, I want to bring up also like the elements because like it goes through all the different elements. You have your, your your signature element. You know you got fire, wind, water, and then you can delve off into like the storm releases. Yeah, yeah, like the releases ice. exactly. And it makes sense because if you have two different elements that you're privy to, you can you can utilize the, the release. But but. I will say the best power system is stance. 
And I want to say, yo, get, yo, get wait, 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 wait. I want to say, I want to say, stands because stands have the most unique abilities out of any abilities I've ever seen in any anime of all time. I want to say one thing too with the Nen and stands and a lot of the abilities that come from Nen. All those motherfuckers that you named before all had stands. A kite, that was a stand. That was a Let's stand. See. Let's see. That's chapter that's seven, stand. chapter yeah. seven bankruptcy. Stand. That's Knuckle. Fair. Dr. Blythe. Stand. Come on, yo. And the the stands. Alright, 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 alright. I will admit, it's kind of like iffy and wishy-washy where stands come from. They are the embodiment of your will and your your most powerful feeling. In part five, I'm gonna say. There, there, there has to be a lot of strategic fighting, especially when it's with Jorno or Mista or um, Narancha, because they're all down first, and then they have to find yeah, a way out yeah. of the bad situation right. to win. Yeah. In terms of complexity, stands may outweigh Hunter a little bit because everything's in the six category. Stands is. It's almost like they just make shit up. Like, well, 100%. <laughs> but, like, I know, but, like, they, you gotta then think about the specialists. We, we didn't even know too many specialists, really. Right. I'm not saying that Nen, like, doesn't have those nuances that peak above certain stands, but it's like, you think about Jorno, right? He's the greatest stand we've ever seen. Even the formation of his stand is the most complex thing in the show. He is the son of Dio and jo Jonathan yeah. uh, Joestar, Joestar yeah. because Dio stole Jonathan's body. So his stand has implicated the best of both their goods. That is some wild shit that you will not see in Hunter. JoJo has made it a, a trademark for them to try to do more like wild and outlandish abilities than most. Even if you just have an overpowered strong stand, you could be top of the game. We haven't seen a lot of specialists mm -hmm. in Hunter, right. but every stand user could be considered a specialist. Yeah, so honestly, that's- Because their I, power I is so that. unique. I can respect that. Most people in Hunter, we're more martial arts capable okay. than people in JoJo. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at more of like, as a Nen user, progressing your Nen in general is just make you a better fighter. Like even when Gon couldn't use his Nen, it wasn't like they were powerless. Without a stand, as a stand user, you're pretty much powerless. Like you never really see people further their power. Right. Like, sure, it's it's kind of like they just, just have, have their the power. Yeah. Like, and it just, it just and comes it. out. If I'm gonna choose my favorite power system because you know there's a plethora you got magic you got key i mean we argue that key is the strongest right because obviously you can just go ui you know like me my personal favorite has always been devil force i'm not a complex type of person like if i was an anime character i, I, I wouldn't want to be basically <laughs> i wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't want to be like a Nen user who has to think and figure out and, and even a stand user always having to be like worried about stand users. I like Devil Fruit so for the fact that like they can just take you from a regular pirate to like that guy. So you just want to be OP? It's not about being OP because Devil Fruits aren't OP. I mean, it's like it's like literally like, you know, going from like a normal person to eating like uh, an Nels fruit. Like yeah. when you became a, a lightning human. Yeah, and I always think about the power system in the verse. Like Nen, you have to train. Sand, you have to be born with. Chakra, you have to train. But Devil Fruits, you just have to adventure. And you can find a Devil Fruit and it can change your life. Unless you grow and train your hockey. But for me, I don't choose hockey over Devil Fruits because hockeys are really more of a subside to Devil Fruits. Yeah, you can, you can be a hard hockey user and be strong and have conquerors and all that great stuff, but your hockey's main ability is to defeat Devil Fruits. That's yeah, why you have armor. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I like Devil Fruits because if I'm going to be a pirate, and not only can I train my hockey, I can train my Devil Fruit as well. And then also, you can make the best almost out of any Devil Fruit. Luffy has one of the like arguably worst Devil Fruits. And then if you get a Logia, you're pretty, you pretty much lucked out be a hard fighter just a regular cat like ace grew up in the jungles right and then got the flame flame fruit and was like immediately third commander of the white yeah. Pirates. you know what i'm saying well, i don't want to be goku i don't want to be miriam i'd rather just be the normal guy with like luffy's fruit and then my big thing about deference is you can get the real rare ones or the real like game changers like black it's, it's a logia and it's yeah. its own you have the, I mean, you have so, the mystical so ones Constantly healed. We all know the best fruit is the quake quake. Yeah, like <laughs> it's the white bear's fruit. It's the white bear's fruit. Debatably, so there's you can say lost fruit is the 
best because he can get that too. Yeah, but he like he he's, can he's limited to where his regions are. That's you know, true. Whitebeard he literally made awesome. an earthquake in the ocean. He yeah. you saw the ocean tsunami. split. Yeah, yeah but really like that's true. That's basically me. I I like Devil Fruits the most. Chakra's close to me, but to be honest with you, I would probably choose Magic next. Even in most animes with magic, you see the rain. Black Clover. I mean, you look at the wizard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Magi or fairy tale. The range that magic has in almost every magic anime is almost unbound. And it's intricate. It's like almost everything we talked about, yeah. but a little more. I would say it's probably Devil Fruits and the Magic are like my top two. So yeah, guys, that is our uh, favorite power system, best power system. If y'all have some of y'all favorite power systems, drop them in the comments. Let us know what you think is the best or even the strongest. And yeah, Anime Sun is on the lake, man. Catch y'all next time. Uh, and don't forget. Right. <laughs> Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Yeah, exactly. But you know what the best anime of all time is? Zach Bell. What? Yo, y'all remember Zach Bell?